welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Your chance to win a virtual million pounds by simply answering 15 questions in a row correctly. So if you're ready, let's play. Hello and welcome to episode 100 of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Thank you very much. No, thank you, Chris. Um... <laughs> Are you playing alone or with your friends? I'm always playing alone. Uh, yeah, so episode 100. Three years so in the making. it's just you, me and the computer. It is. Okay, first bit. If you'd be so kind, please enter your name. Okie dokie. If you don't need instructions, let's play. I do not. Right, here we go. You're 15 questions away from one million pounds. And if you're ready to play, have a look at this for 100 pounds. So I was trying to think of something special to do for episode 100, you know, because it's a big episode, you know, and it means a lot. But I couldn't think of anything. I did think about doing like a live stream um, and then doing like ask the audience as in ask the actual audience. And then I thought, who am I kidding? <laughs> I'm going to have, like, one person turn up. So, I'm just going to do it the usual way. All right, take your time. You've still got all take three lives. You're saying D. Okay. You happy to go orange? Well done. Nice and easy. You've got £100. Here's question two. It's worth £200. What is a galleon? It's a large sailing ship, isn't it? It's right. You've got £200. Yeah. Right, so far so good. Take a look at this for 300 quid. Which of these is a fish? A uh, lemon sole and it's delicious. Well done, you've got 300 pounds. Right, question four of 15 coming up. You're doing fine. Take your time, have a look at this for 500 pounds. Which breeds of dog are you used for herding sheep? Collies. So you think the right answer is C. Are you sure? That's the right answer for £500. Don't forget, you've still got all three lifelines. Use them if you need to, that's what they're there for. OK, have a look. Uh, you're just one question away from your first milestone. It's for a guaranteed £1,000. Here it comes. Which U.S. state, oh, in which U.S. state is Houston, that would be Texas. So you're saying it's A. Are you confident? If this answer is correct, you're guaranteed to leave here with at least £1,000. Well done, it is the right answer. That's a thousand pounds in the bag guaranteed, but let's try and double that with the next question. You might as well play this. You've got nothing to lose. You're guaranteed one thousand. This one is for two thousand pounds. Which words means of relating to or affecting cattle? Uh, oh, bovine. I nearly want canine. So you think dog. the right answer is C? Are you sure? You've just won £2,000. Oh, yes. You're doing brilliantly. You've got £2,000, but take a look at this next question for 4000 CH is the international car registration for which country? I don't know. Okay, you've chosen the phone a friend. Now let's call them up, but just remember you don't have to take their advice. Hello? Hi Rob, this is Chris Tarrant from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Hi Rob. Hi Chris. Your friend badly needs your help. We need the correct answer to a £4,000 question. 
Not a problem, Chris. Okay, Rob, here we go with the question. Now remember, three of these answers are wrong. <laughs> Ominous. For some stupid reason, CZ stands for Switzerland. Don't ask me why, but I went skiing there when I was a kid, so uh, if I were you, I'd go for it. Ah, my cheers, Rob. Thanks, uh, an actual Thanks helpful for that. One. Thank you, Rob. Excellent. Well, it's up to you. You can cheers, go. You can have a quid. <laughs> are you happy with that? <laughs> it's the right answer. Hey. You got four thousand oh, pounds. Well good done, man, Rob. Good man. The next question takes you past the halfway mark for the 15 correct answers you need for one million pounds. Good luck. Here it comes for eight thousand pounds. Which of these is the name of a magazine and a cocktail? So you think the right answer is C. Are you sure? You had four thousand pounds. I did. You could have walked away. Could have done. You didn't. Nope. You've now got eight thousand pounds. Yeah. You'll win sixteen thousand pounds if you give me the correct answer to the next question. It's number nine of fifteen. Take a look at it. Here it comes. Which comet was clearly visible from the Earth in 1997? I think I get this wrong every time. But I would have said Halley's, because I remember Halley's. But I think it's hale -Bop for some reason. I'm going to go with my initial guess. You're saying D, okay. Yeah. You happy to go orange? I'm really sorry, that's the wrong it is hell answer. Bob, isn't it? You've just lost seven thousand pounds. The answer is B. Why don't I go with my girl? Alright, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. We'll give it another go. That's fine. <clears throat> so all I can do is keep trying. You never know, this time in three years time I might be now, up. So 200! Here comes your first <laughs> question. It's worth 100 pounds. Which of these is used by writer as a pseudonym? A uh, pen name, isn't it? Of course it is. You've got 100 quid. Take a look at this for two hundred pounds. Uh, a fang is a large tooth. It's right. You've got two hundred pounds. Now here's question number three for three hundred pounds. Uh, Cleopatra was the queen of Egypt. Well done. You've got three hundred pounds. Right, you're 12 questions away from a million. Now, this one is worth £500. Take your time, have a look at it. Which animal is the largest ape, the gorilla? That's the right answer for £500. <laughs> Don't forget, you've still got all three lifelines. Use them if you need to, that's what they're there for. Now, the next question guarantees you £1,000 if you give me a correct answer. Have a look at this. According to the saying, what is clear when dangers have gone? What? I've never had this before. Episode 100 and I'm still getting new questions that confuse me. According to the saying, what is clear when dangers have gone? Just be aware, this is the last point at which you could go away with... Clear shore, clear nothing. coast, clear seaside, clear beach. Clear coast? Coast is clear! Ah. Yeah, no, that did just click. I think you, you don't heard have to it. You play this if you don't want to. Is that your <laughs> final answer? If this answer is correct, I think you all just heard the moment that that light bulb went on in my head. <laughs> well done, it is the right answer. 
And uh, this is why we're at episode 100. Uh, I love it. Oh, well done. You got a thousand pounds. Now, that's guaranteed. Whatever happens now, you'll walk away with at least one thousand pounds. But have a look at this next question. You might as well play it. It's worth two thousand pounds. What is the capital of New Zealand? It's not Wellington or Christchurch. Uh So you think it's A? I'm gonna go with it, yeah. You've just won two hey. pounds. I nearly went question, so I'm glad I didn't. You are now just nine questions away from one million pounds and starting to look at some of the uh, bigger jumps. But remember, the drops are pretty steep as well. Take a look at this for four thousand pounds. Which British coin has a porculus on the reverse? What is a porculus? I'm guessing 20. No, yeah. 20. Because it's that tree thing, isn't it? All right, take your time. Technical term, you my think friend. it's B? Technical Are you happy term. with that answer? I don't know. I look at these coins oh, all the time. I'm sorry, ah! that's the wrong answer. The answer One. is A. Oh, okay. I look at the coins all the time. Well, I don't look at the coins all the time. You just know them, don't you? You, you don't really what? know what they look like. You just know them. I'm okay. going again. We're going again. We're going again. Come on. Oh, I've got to get so far. I know. You'd hope. Right, here we go. You're 15 questions away from one million pounds. And if you're ready to play, have a look at this for 100 pounds. What wins prizes when they are drawn randomly from a tombola drum? Raffle tickets. Of course it is. You've got 100 quid. Here's question two. It's worth 200 pounds. Which of these is a book of the Bible? What? I don't know. Alright, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50 50, phone a friend, and ask the audience. You think it's B? I don't Are you know, happy with actually. That answer? I'm very sorry, <laughs> it's an early exit for you. It's the wrong answer. The answer is A. Numbers, okay. I feel like this episode has completely summed up my series. <laughs> oh, I am sorry, but you're leaving. Occasionally get strokes of, you know. I think it's this. I don't always listen to my gut. Um, sometimes it takes me a while to Good actually now, I hope you're ready get my light bulb going. <laughs> it's worth £100. And a lot of the time I'm just perplexed going, what? What? <laughs> yeah, this pretty much sums up the series. <laughs> According to the Bible. Would you stop asking me about the Bible? I don't know it. I'm sorry. Oh, how did the animals go in? Two by two. I I it's like good. That. You've got one hundred pounds. I'm sorry. I'm. I just don't know. Have a look at this. It's worth two hundred pounds. Uh, scarlet is a shade of red. It's correct. You've got two hundred quid. Right. So far, so good. Take a look at this for three hundred quid. Which type of person might be described as a shrimp? Probably small. So you're saying B. You've got 300 pounds. I've never heard of anyone being described as a shrimp, but all right. Now, you've got 300 quid, but you could still go away with nothing. I'm sure you won't, and I hope you don't. But have a look at this next one. It's worth 500 pounds. What is the name of Raymond Briggs' fictional bogeyman? 
All right, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50-50, phone a friend and ask the audience. Why am I getting loads of hard questions? This isn't fair, Brutus. I don't know. Are you happy with that? Well, you seem pretty confident. But I'm afraid it's I don't know. I've I never, I've you've never heard of it. I'm so sorry. That's the wrong... I answer. can believe I've done it. The answer is A. Fungus. Okay. I'll never remember it. I'll be honest. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's do it again. I'm not leaving it like that. I'm not leaving it like that. Thank you very much. Right, here we go. You're 15 questions away from £1 million. And if you're ready to play, have a look at this for £100. What was Basil Brush's famous catchphrase? Boom, boom. I know that of course one. it is. You've got £100. Quid. Here's question two. It's worth £200. Which of these wines is originally from Italy? That? So you're saying B? I ain't no Bordeaux's France. It's right. You've yeah. got £200. <laughs> Whew, that was a bit of a relief there. You're doing well. You're just 13 questions away from a million. Look at this for £300. What is the name of Superman's girlfriend, uh, Lois Lane? So you're saying B. Well done, you've got £300. Right, question four of 15 coming up. You're doing fine. Take your time, have a look at this for £500. Which of these is a correct spelling? Oh my God. Don't ask me about spelling. Uh... All right, take your time. You've still got all three lifelines. You've still got 50-50. Phone a friend and ask the audience. Well, the R, there's two R's together. But I think... Mm, I don't think there's two S. Is there two S's and one R or one... Two R's and one S. I think there's... No, I think I'm going to change my mind and go one R, two Are you happy with that? Well, you've got three right so far. Nice and confident. But I'm afraid that's as far as you can go. It's the wrong answer. How many was there? Two hours and one ass? The answer is B. Uh, double R, double S. That was an embarrassment. <laughs> well, I am sorry. It's very, very rare that anybody leaves empty-handed, but that's what you've achieved. I do hope you've enjoyed playing. Please try again soon, and better luck next time on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I think this is fitting. We leave on episode 100... At nothing. So <laughs> I'm going to say thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next episode.